Hi, I'm Greg. And I'm Mitch. And we are ASAP, ASAP Science. Science. It's been a peculiar year. Back in September, you probably pictured taking a prom photo, maybe something like this. Standing cheek to cheek, maybe even you've effortlessly picked up one of your close friends. But now with physical distancing measures, that photo is gonna have to be at least 72 feet wide, so scratch that. But the fact that things are different now and it might not be a traditional graduation doesn't take away from the amazing years of school you had. And we are here to prove that using statistics and science. Let's begin. Of the millions of people graduating around the world today, 40% are actually in China and India. So hello, international smart people. Focusing on America, we have 1,975,000 people graduating with bachelor's degrees, 989,000 with associate's degrees, 820,000 master's degrees, and 184,000 doctorate degrees. Well, that's a lot of smart people. About 3.7 million students are graduating from high school this year in America. And did you know, over the last four years, your heart beat 1,460,000 times. It also pumped 10,950,000 liters of blood throughout your body. So from the bottom of your heart, I think you should thank your heart. Over the last four years, you and all your classmates have traveled 3,760,000,000 kilometers through space on this here planet Earth. You produced at least 252 trillion red blood cells in the last four years. Your skin sheds around 30 30 to 40,000 skin cells per minute. So over the last four years, you shed 50.8 bodies worth of skin. Your nails <laughs> grew 18.4 centimeters and your hair grew 60 centimeters, which might be something that you've become acutely aware of in the last three months. It <laughs> is long. You've blinked. 40 million times, which means you spent 10% of your waking hours with your eyes closed. Some of these upcoming studies only consider gender binaries. Boys sleep an average of 496.4 minutes per night, whereas girls sleep an average of 507.6 minutes. That means in the last four years, boys, you slept around 725,000 minutes, and girls, you slept around 741,000 minutes. Of course, staying up late watching YouTube, or I mean like studying, <laughs> maybe would have decreased those hours of sleep by a little bit. This sleep was essential to develop and take care of your brain, which produced 2,044,000 new neurons in the hippocampus and burned 584,000 calories. And did you know that while sitting quietly, your brain is actually churning through more information than the Hubble telescope has in the last 30 years. So like no shade Hubble telescope, but like keep up. On average in the last four years, we all cried emotional tears about 116 times. But statistically, women cried 188 times while men only cried 44. Now crying actually releases the hormone oxytocin, endorphin, and can ease pain. So boys, it's time to cry more, okay? <laughs> right now, tonight, I don't know, listen to Wonderwall, watch the movie Up, or like, we're all watching you graduate with the Obamas. It's emotional, okay? Let it flow. Also, did you know that the people who are graduating high school this year were likely born in 2002 and therefore were three years old when YouTube was invented? <laughs> <laughs> we're so old. We're so old. I know, I know, I know. But we're also kind of like the like cool old YouTube gay science teachers, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we're the cool teachers, right? Yeah, see you. Yeah, you right there on your phone. That's you, Tyler. Put down your phone, okay? Pay attention in class. After school ended, we honestly panicked that we weren't gonna <laughs> learn anymore. And so what we decided to do was create a YouTube channel about science out of our passion for science that was enriched within us by our teachers and schools. So. Our advice to you is to figure out what it was that you were passionate about in the last four years at school and really pursue it. Another reason we love science is that it can positively transform lives. And I think right now, this moment, we're all more viscerally aware of that than ever. That scientific information and knowledge is so important in keeping us safe. So we all need to continue to listen to healthcare professionals, epidemiologists, and scientific consensus about how we move forward with this pandemic, but also even after. Because listening to scientists means a bright future for the human species. Okay, so look at me. Look at me. Education is power, so never stop learning. Peace! Bye! Bye. <laughs>